What's up guys, Wayne Cork here, and if you haven't watched the intro video to this, please watch it, it'll explain what I'm doing, and uh, what I'll do is I'll commentate this and then give a player review at the end. Today we've got Blame Truth on Firing Range, and uh, it's a good opening spawn nade right here, common spot, and you'll see he gets behind cover right away, that's smart, just in case somebody's using a G11 or an M16 and gets a lucky one burst on you. I don't really like how he checked that window there, it was kind of unnecessary after hitting that nice nade. But it didn't really hinder him. I like moving assertively throughout the map, and I think it's extremely important in Call of Duty. So his first aspect, let's rate his setup. He's using uh, Enfield either with extended mags or dual mags, I'm not sure which. And the Enfield, it pulls up the same as an SMG, so it was Treyarch probably designed it to be a good gunfighting gun. But it's just not because of its low damage and slow fire rate. It uh, it's pretty lacking those aspects. I'd rate it as like a, a mid to long range gun, where it's very good from like a mid range to even a little bit long range. But from after that, it's just got, it's just not good. And you can't win gunfights with it against the faster shooting assault rifles, and you can't win gunfights against it with like a 74U. So, I just think it's. I mean, it, it's a niche gun, and it's definitely a niche to the, his play style. It's good for a change of pace. He's using Hardline Pro. I don't really like Hardline Pro because I tend to get my 11 kill streak if I'm running it uh, one to two times per game. And you'll see he easily gets his 10 kill streak because of Hardline, and he actually gets more kills after that. So it didn't really help him in this game, kind of wasted perk. I'd like to see Scavenger there. Scavenger is important because it lets you it lets you stay in your flow of the game without having to leave yourself open for long periods of time to for enemies to kill you, especially in awkward positions that gun might awkward places that guns might be laying around. And uh, yeah, other than that, I would use lightweight against better players. Lightweight allows you to push the pace, which he doesn't ever do. I've noticed in this video. And um, one way to score really high, a really easy way to score really high, is to use lightweight and control the tempo of the game. And you do that by forcing the other team to play faster than they're comfortable. And as long as you're used to it, you have a huge advantage with that. Uh, as for his mobility and awareness, he's he's really unsure of himself. He, um, I've noticed that he's constantly moving back and forth, checking it, checking behind him. He just needs to be assertive and run through the map. He needs to be aware of where the enemy is and take a smart rap through the map where the enemy won't be able to kill him. And he really doesn't do that all that effectively. You'll see that Chopper Gunner, he has nice awareness, killing the guy running after him right here. But later on, he has the opportunity to do the same exact thing, and he actually doesn't do that. And he takes an extra death with because of it. A little bit of awareness flaw. As for gun skill, Blame Truth's aim is superb. Um, he, I've heard him say in his videos, M16 is his favorite gun. And I can see why his aim is just excellent. Uh, the other part of gun skill is the techniques you use with it. His drop shot, I can't really rate how clean it is because I only saw him try to drop shot once and he didn't even drop all the way down. He went in the crouch and ended up getting him killed. I'll show you, I'll point that out later on. Right there is where he should have killed the guy going in after him. So I think a lot of that is just because he plays so conservative. He doesn't really assertively move throughout the map. Uh, as for mobility, like I said, he's really indecisive. He doesn't really push the pace at all. Uh, ideally, for the highest score possible and least best possible, you in the most action-packed game possible, you want to um, push the pace constantly. Right here is where he, he should have drop shot and he kind of crouched and it didn't really work. But uh, you want to push the pace as fast as possible. And the way you do that is you wedge yourself in between your teammates to where your teammates are either behind you or on your side and then there's cover behind you or on your side so you know where the enemy is going to be coming the direction the enemy is going to be coming from at all times and what it does is it allows you to stay covered constantly but it also allows you to pick up a large 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 amount of kills and uh, I think Blame Truth would easily be able, been able to pick up at least 10 maybe more kills this game if you would have moved around uh, assertively throughout the map picking on the enemy spawn a lot Ducking and weaving in between where common routes are, all while staying covered and not exposed. As for awareness, he's pretty aware of where the enemy's coming from. Uh, his awareness lacks sometimes while he was in the chopper gunner, and then it lacks a little bit later on in the video. He right here he sets up this motion sensor and then doesn't see the guy on it, and he ends up dying from behind trying to switch weapons. Um, his kill streaks are great. Uh, I prefer to run UAV counter UAV and then gunship and then if I'm playing with uh, 
people I know, I don't really like the games to end so fast, so I use UAV, counter UAV, and Blackbird. Um, a little update on me if you guys want to hear it. Uh, my Xbox is still red ring. I've been playing. I've been playing like a week or so because I've been on my roommate's Xbox. I've had. I have like a little over three and a half killed to death. Right there is where the warning mission happened. So. Uh, yeah, end of the video. I'll try to get some original videos up for you guys. I'll keep doing the series. If you guys, like I said earlier, if you guys want to see any commentaries or if you want me to review your gameplay, let me know. As for my rating, I rate Blame Truth an 8 out of 10 player. Um, 9 out of 10 being the best pub star possible, 10 out of 10 being the best competitive player possible. He's an 8 out of 10. His aim is absolutely excellent. Um, I just think he really needs to work on his mobility. He needs to start kind of moving around throughout the map, working on creating that wedge in between his teammates and cover, or just two points of cover, and speeding up the gameplay. It'll allow him to pick up a lot more kills, and I think it'll allow him to have more fun with the game, because it's more action-packed. Uh, gun skill, I'd give him... I'd probably give him an 8.5, just because his aim's so good. Mobility, I'd give him a 6. Uh, exposure, I would give him an 8, because he... he was rarely exposed this whole time. Awareness, like I said, it lacked at some times, but overall was pretty good. I'd give him a seven. And then his setup was his kill streak setup I would rate very high. And then overall setup I'd rate like an eight, just because uh, he's probably using the infield as a change of pace, which I mean everybody needs a change of pace sometimes. So I don't know who I'm gonna do next, but I hope you guys like this. Bye.